I will show you how to make an AI voice realistic in a few easy steps, using Audacity. First, open your favorite text-to-speech AI tool. Paste your script and choose the voice actor you want. I will go with this one, for example. After making adjustments, download your voiceover. Next, open Audacity and import your voiceover file. Let's listen to it before we start editing. Hey, let's hear my AI voice. Right now, it doesn't sound very natural. Let's use Audacity to make it sound more lifelike and authentic. Now, let's cut these silent parts to make it more engaging. If you are not familiar with how to cut parts, select the section you want to cut and press Ctrl plus X on your keyboard, it will be deleted. Double-click on the audio, go to Effects, Volume and Compression, and choose Normalize. Copy my settings and hit Apply. Again, go to Effects, EQ and Filters, and click on Filter Curve EQ, click on Presets and Settings, Factory Presets, and select Treble Boost. Hit Apply to make your voice more crisp. Again, go to Effects, EQ and Filters, click on Filter Curve EQ, click on Presets and Settings, Factory Presets, and choose Low Roll-Off for Speech. Click Apply again. Repeat the same steps, but this time choose Bass Boost to add bass to your speech. Now, go to Effects, EQ and Filters, and choose Bass and Treble. Keep both bass and treble at 5.0 and hit apply. Next, you can add a compressor here. A compressor evens out the volume levels, where your voice is too loud, it reduces it, and where it's too soft, it increases it. After that, you can apply a limiter. A limiter prevents clipping, ensuring that if your vocal levels are too high, it maintains clarity without distortion. Our editing is completed, let me show you the difference between before and after. Hey, let's hear my AI voice. Right now, it doesn't sound very natural. Let's use Audacity to make it sound more lifelike and authentic. Hey, let's hear my AI voice. Right now, it doesn't sound very natural. Let's use Audacity to make it sound more lifelike and authentic. As you can see, it is clearly different from the raw audio. Now let's export it. Click on File at the top right corner and select Export Audio. If you are looking for an 11 Labs alternative which is 100% free, check out this video. See you there. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you for watching.